What is going on YouTube? It's Sank. We are back for another one. Alright guys, so get yourself ready for another action-packed one because what I want to do in this drop is regroup with you guys on a few of our plays that were on the move today. Now I know Scott, many of you wondering, are they now buys? Are they sells? So what I'm going to do is decode these players for you, let you know what to expect next and the moves we are going to be making to ensure that we can maximise your returns from these plays. Now before I get this show on the road, make sure you guys are letting me know down in the comment section which of our plays were hitting for you today, whether that's Macy's, Big Five, The Nails, Cleveland Cliffs, Newcourt, you guys let me know down in the comments so I know who is up on the plays. Now before we dive into the first one, make sure you guys are pulling the trigger on that like button for me. Without further ado, let's hop into the first play. So we're going to warm up with this one, that's ticker symbol DAC, that's the nails. You guys see that shift up today of 5%, now standing $72. Now it's a good move on all accounts, but I'll let you guys know the street is still underappreciating the play. There's still tons of upside in this one because we still have very high levels of demand to move freight around the world and that's only going to increase as we go for reopening and enter some high key seasons, okay? And we've got all of those supply constraints, limited supply containers, port congestion, all of that is just keeping shipping prices elevated, meaning that the NAOS is still just swimming in that sea of cash and that bodes very well for us as investors in the play. Now check this out, I'm gonna talk through with you guys the stock price movement on the day, because we sure saw this one shoot up to $73, up around 7% on the day, then dip back down to around that 72 region. I'll let you guys know $73 is an area of resistance for the play, okay? About a month ago, we saw this one, at the $73 mark, then come back down. So I'm gonna give you guys a heads up, when we break through the $73, it'll be almost an upwards to the mid to high 70s territory. Now, I know a lot of you guys are already up the money in the play since we were accumulating in the very low 60s. So I'm gonna give you guys a heads up, the, sh the move is to continue in the play, just hold firm. As I say, there's still upside. Now, if you're looking to make entry, this one is right out of the buy zone right now. So what you guys gotta do is just focus on our other plays that are currently in the buy zone. Now exit strategy on this one is we're either gonna be setting our stop limits later down the line or we're gonna be easing out the play and first profit taking checkpoint comes in at $80, then you guys can take out 10% of your original holding. But right now, this one's moving like clockwork and she's not afraid to move as well. This is one that can make multi-day moves like you've just seen today. So just hold tight in the play, good things coming for us as investors in this one. Now I'm going to give you guys some quick coverage on ticker symbol BGFE, that's Big Five Sporting Goods. Now I'm not going to give too much airtime to this one on the channel, this isn't one of our core plays. This is just one of your side pieces to have a blast with. Now before I get into the move going forward with this one, you guys saw how all of our retail apparel stocks were on the move today. Like Macy's, Under Armour, DKS, all climbing. As I told you guys, that's a major lane you want to ensure you've got your position on as we move through the quarter. All right, back to BGFE. What you guys gonna wanna do is just set your stop loss in and around your average price. Given the shift up today, you guys should all be in the money on the play. So if this one experiences too much downwards volatility, you can just cash out the play and we can move to the next winning one, no problem. If it continues to rise, what you gotta do is just put your feet up, watch those numbers climb. Let's jump to the next one. So it's time for our main event. We've got ticker symbol NUE, that's new core. Now check this, up 10% on the day. Now this is one of our core channel plays. I know a bunch of you guys are ready in making phenomenal returns because we've been talking about this one recently, strategy, exit, moves, all of that stuff. But I want to regroup with you guys on the play and tear it up again, given that shift up to date. Now check this, they made a fresh 52 week high on the day, blasting through that previous 52 week high, which was around the $110. I told you guys it was incoming. The fundamentals here, the tailwinds were too strong to stop this one. Now check this, we were accumulating in this play back in the very low 90s okay only a couple of weeks back so you can see how quickly fortunes can change with these types of plays so I'm gonna put you guys on the play make sure and it hits that buy zone that you guys snap up that opportunity and start making those great returns all right so the reason why they've moved up today is because the Senate has passed the vote for that infrastructure bill and that's huge news for the play because the infrastructure bill is gonna pay for new roads railways internet connections all of these things require massive amounts of steel and right here we are working with one of the largest US steel producers, one of the best in class in the game, okay? So they're gonna take a lion's share of that work and it's just gonna increase their size, their revenues, their financials, all gonna come in even hotter than they already do. Now, one of my investors over the Discord asked me today, is this one to buy where they're at? 
What you guys gotta realize is they have just broken into fresh territory today. So we need to allow them to do some price discovery. And ideally we always get in on pullbacks and we know this one can pull back. That's where we last found this the play on the back of a pullback. That's how we made phenomenal returns in such a short period of time. There might be a sell the news type of situation down the line as well for us to take note of. So they're not a buy where they're at. Now, for those of you in the play, already doing phenomenally well, you guys don't need to exit the play. You don't need to set your stop losses, none of that, okay? This one still has strong tailwinds. The fundamentals are good, so things are in shape for this one moving forward. All you guys gotta do is just put your feet up and just enjoy the ride. So if you've been rocking with the channel, you know what time is. Thanks for what you do. What's the best price to watch out for for Evolve Wednesday and Thursday? So to wrap this one up, I'm gonna share some of you guys. Now, regardless of what play it is that you've got your eye on, I wanna give you guys a heads up. I'm expecting markets to get rocky over the next couple of sessions, okay? We are due a bit of a shake up in the markets. It happens from time to time. I just wanna give you guys early heads up on that. Now, what I suggest all of you do is have what I call a pullback watch list. These are all the plays, your high conviction plays, or plays you're interested in that are on your radar, but the price is looking a little bit too toppy. I have a pullback watch list, and anytime the market does get rocky, jump into my pullback watch list and see which ones have dipped into the buy zone. That's how I found Macy's, guys. It didn't fall from the sky. It was a play that I was tracking and monitoring. I didn't manage to get in the first time round, but it was there on my pullback watch list. Drew that one out when the markets got shaken up, presenting that to you guys. And as you can see, we've done phenomenally well from that play in such a short period of time. So make sure that you guys have got your, or building up your pullback watch list, adding any plays, as I say, of interest to you. Now, in terms of Revolve, I like this one in the very low 60s, all right? If you catch them 60, $61, that's a good time to start easing into the play. I say ease into the play, because it could go lower than that. Revolve is a phenomenally well-run business doing very well, good brand, good customer base, and I'm expecting them to do very well over the next couple of quarters, delivering cash windfalls to us as investors. As a matter of fact, we've already made bank from the play, but we're just looking to maximize our return. So that's one that is a good addition to your pullback watch list. All right, guys, so that wraps up for this one. On your way out, make sure you guys are hitting that like button for me. If you're new, join the movement. It's been a blast as always. I'll catch you on the next one.